Hey guys, welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Cast. It's me, Saiyan SC, bringing you Shine here in the top left. Be all down in the bottom right. We're taking a break from our Flash coverage to uh, just check out some random games here. We've got Shine, who is a fan favorite, the old ASL Observer. And bag of builds himself. He's not so much bag of builds anymore. On ladder, he's a very normal player, like very, mm, how should I say, macro oriented, uh, standard player. But if you throw anything funky at him, he really knows how to throw down. He knows how to uh, cheese you back, shall we say. If you want to. You know, one 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 him or do something weird. Uh, you know, throw a factory out on the map or something like that, or do some sort of weird drop play. He is very good at countering and just hitting you with a hydralisk all in or any sort of like weird all in that is the perfect uh, set for whatever situation it is that uh, might be coming his way. So I'm always interested to see games like that. I don't know if Buell will do anything like that this game. He might just chill, play out a normal MMM game. Who knows? This is just kind of randomly selected from uh, the seawall.gg uh, Discord channel. This rep was provided by Dude Nerd. But guys, after this game, I think tomorrow we'll go back to Flash. I saw that there was a Flash versus Bisu series that I'm kind of interested to cast. I'm just a little bit, um, a little bit worn out here today. We did another uh, ten games, uh, ten games a day till a episode on stream. So yeah, I'm a little bit tired out here. I don't want to do a full-on series, so we're gonna take a break from that. Running by here with the drones right now. This is not an eight racks, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think this was eight racks. Or was that rack started before the supply depot? I'm none too sure now. The drones go all the way around. I need to start doing this. Look at Shine's hold here. That was so well done. I'm actually kind of shocked. I was waiting for the engagement here, but he moved around the side. Dodged the... SCVs didn't engage with the Marines, killed one Marine uh, in the follow-up, and bought just enough time to get his lings out. Lost only one drone. Just, just perfectly done. He gets the chef's kiss there. Mwah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is exactly what I was talking about, by the way, before. Where I said that if you want to throw cheese his way, Shine is the guy who knows how to get... He knows how to get it done. He knows what to do. Uh, when it comes to this stuff so he handles that he is now droning up behind it he kind of got stuck on 18 uh, which is pretty typical <laughs> when it comes to eight racks that happens to me all the time so he's actually going to be a little bit behind in terms of his macro you can see he's got six drones in production right now uh, so that overlord uh, skip does does really hurt honestly that's a painful painful overlord miss um we are gonna get a spire going here soon with the full scout though we all just gonna know exactly what's coming here and guys i don't mean to overstate this but uh, when it comes to holding eight racks if I hold the eight racks, but I miss the overlord. I actually feel like I didn't hold the eight racks. It's that, it's that bad. It, it feels like you're kind of critically far behind. Now, I don't know if Shine's managed to, to find a way to sneak some drones out. A lot of players uh, will do this. Shun has recommended this to me because I do struggle with this a lot. I've talked to him about it. Um, he says like, just build a bunch of buildings throw down a, a sunken colony or a, um, a creep colony you know grab that extra gas a little bit early just so that you can build a drone and then cancel 
all the buildings so that you can you can just use the larva and just get the drones out as soon as possible. Oh man. Oh, this poor medic. Well, that's just typical, isn't it? Medic here was it must have been um let's see where that Can I see this? No, I can't. I can't see where this is um Yeah, I can't see that. I was going to check and see where that was rallied to, but I guess I can't see a base over here at the top right. It's two hatch muta into third base over at the natural. Pretty standard play here, although it is a little bit tough to hold on retro because this this is very, very close. That's not a long rush distance to get up here to the top right. Um, going into four racks play, so he's going to have a lot of marines coming out here, but he will be a little bit later on the tech. It's important for Shine to get in here and just see, hmm, what are you actually doing? And as soon as he sees five racks, okay, that's the fifth racks there. Five racks, he should know immediate Hydralis Den is going to be necessary. You have to get the Defile, or you have to get the Lurkers out ASAP. It's so critical. He gets in here, he sees it. Where is the Hydralis Den? It's coming into the production here. I don't see it just yet. Going to pick off quite a few Marines. This is some good control by Shine. How many Marines did he get there? Like five? And he didn't lose a Mutalus yet. So well played by him, honestly. He's going to come in with the Lings now and pick, gets the uh, turret. And the Marines are actually getting bunched up at the top of the ramp since uh, he can't get down here. He's actually going to get a lot of damage. Wow, so many SCVs going down here. Diving on top of this last Marine. Really well done by Shine. Look at how many SCVs he picked off there. Oh my goodness, he will lose most of his mutas, only four remain. But this was insanely well done. So much damage here. He's coming in with another wave of mutas, but I don't think he can break this, Shine. I think you need to back off. Where is that Hydralis Den? We still haven't seen it here. Just continuing to produce mutas right now, but I, I just can't imagine this is the right choice. Maybe he's done enough damage to make this work, but five racks is just so many Marines, man. It's so many Marines. He's already got plus one done as well. Plus one armors on the way. Are we going to be able to just keep fighting and eventually trade? There's the Hydralis then, but I don't know. I feel like you need to throw that down a little earlier. Let's see if he can uh, hold the Marines back and buy himself enough time to actually get this uh, lurkers over here at that third base because that'll be the key thing. That'll be the critical um, Aspect here of the defense. You need to get that up as soon as possible So far shine doing a really good job of controlling his mutas uh, He's been swapping out the overlords really really well here keeping even the overlords in his main You can see They're all back here no random overlord floating across the map and getting picked off by the marines here. He is really on top of that right now. A small group of marine medic, actually a large group of marines, is going to head over here towards the top right. And I think he sees that. He's actually got to go here. He's got to get over there. We got one sunken colony. These are marines without any medic support though. And he clears out this group. I don't think these Marines can do anything here. He should make a Lurker in a moment. Okay, Lurker upgrade's not done. Okay, there is one Medic. Never mind. A lot of drones likely to go down here. Three fall immediately, but the Mutas will come to clear. And this is actually a relatively good trade. I mean, if we didn't lose all the drones there, uh, it would have been much, much better. But uh, we end up losing the drones, so... Uh, you know, missing out on a lot of mining here, but he cleared the Marines. The thing is, with five racks, clearing the Marines, it just doesn't really mean that much anymore. As long as you're trading out stuff for your Marines uh, that the Zerg player is having to make on three hatches. He's got a fourth hatch now, a macro hatch here. As long as you're trading out stuff, you're kind of okay with it here as the Terran player because eventually you're going to have just a massive ball of Marine Medic and you're going to uh, get these starports out. The starports are going to be quite a bit later. So uh, then if you were going for like, say, a, a two racks or into a factory or a three racks into a factory. But 
you're just gonna have a ton of marines out and he's gonna come here and take this fight moving over towards the natural there's only one lurker here so it's a little bit scary there's the science facility starting now i think that we're gonna be okay shine has managed to hold this he just doesn't have many drones yet he's got to add some more lurkers over here trying to set up a lurker landmine here in the middle of the map unfortunately unburrowing right as things were coming forward i believe that Biel saw that i believe he is aware of that right now so that's not going to end up working what do we have in the natural nothing at all so if this was to go around he could be in a lot of trouble lurkers are going to fall back here make sure that he doesn't uh, get a bunch of marines in his natural still setting up more lurker landmines i like it keeping active here he knows that the vessels are going to be quite late popping out but the marine medic ball is growing and growing and growing four lurkers now over here at the natural or at the, the third base excuse me four at the third don't move forward right now Biel. you need to wait for this entire army to get together and the vessels to meet up and then the marine medic will become so much more powerful plus two is on the way here plus one of course is done do we have plus one armor yet not just yet the filers are on the way did he forget consume though i don't see consume in the uh, production tab here and if you forget consume i mean you can just lose there's like 15 different upgrades that you have to get here as a zerg player and if you miss one of them you could just lose the game immediately I'm gonna clear out this marine medic that's a very nice pick off able to get on top of this Ooh, great irradiate there looks like these marines will probably be able to hold no that's a little bit too many lings along with these mutas you will be forced to cancel not quite on top of that stack of lurkers there's four can he target these down no with the overlord over top and the sunken colonies here oh he starts consume look at that he forgot consume it happens to the best of them man let's see if he can break through here this is the chance this is the opportunity that he's been waiting for that's a great spine Hitting a big group of these marines. Some lurkers are going to come out, though, and he will force everything back. But he can come forward and irradiate all of this and have another chance here. As more marines join up with this army, just needs to bring them all together. Ooh, great pick off there with the scourge. These need to get up to the front. The front lines. Only one lurker here. Just one lurker. Dark Swarm finally goes down. This is a Dark Swarm with no consume, so he waited for 100 energy. That is pretty funny. Not going to be able to break through, even though Shine made this mistake. Looks like he won't get punished brutally for it. I think that if the Overlord wasn't over top of the lurkers, we probably would have seen Biel break through there because he could have just stimmed everything and targeted the lurkers. Just keep right-clicking the stack until they're all gone. And then fight the sunken colonies after. And it, the lurkers just disappear so quick when there's only like two or three. It's pretty rough. Drop here now into the top right-hand corner. These two hatches over on the high ground are going to get snapped, it appears. We could see a drop over here to try and get rid of the Nidus Canal as well. That could be a good move. But now, Shine in kind of a precarious situation here. He's going to have to push up this ramp. Try to get lurkers over here. Meanwhile, vessels are going to come in and irradiate everything. There we go. Getting rid of the Defiler and some of these lurkers. Trying to target down as much as he can. Need to pull the uh, dropships out of here, though. Yeah, those need to be sent back home. Don't want to be losing those. Scourge aren't going to finish up here. Does he have another drop? He does. Just a couple of Marines in that. We'll lose that drop ship. A little bit unfortunate there. Group of Mutas and Scourge roaming the map right now. Lots of defense over here in the top left. I hope we're not planning to drop into there because that is a meat grinder. 
Nice defense of those uh, vessels there. Lurkers are going to clear out the Marine Medic here in the top right. And they should be getting ready. Oh, a few of these vessels going down. Those are some great connections. Getting that vessel count just a little bit lower here is going to mean everything to this defense. It's going to be so big. A drop over here at the top right once again. The natural going to get harassed. Oh, if only he was just in hold position there. Well, the defiler comes through and is ready to clear that up anyway. So I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Going to rotate over here to the top right once again. Be all going to leave one group of marine medic over near the natural it's time to start doing that now nice kill there oh another nice kill here as well this is something that i struggle with quite heavily is actually hitting the vessels and dropships with the scourge they can be some of the dumbest units in the entire game when it comes to actually uh, attacking something it's rare that they do their job correctly. Another vessel goes down here. Great control with the Mutalist now. The vessel count staying low. I think that Shine should be able to hold on to everything. We should see a massive plague here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the plague goo. Absolutely insane. Meanwhile, the natural is going to get targeted. He doesn't have D-Matrix for the Firebats, but this is a stack. If the Firebats get on top of the stack... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> the stack will survive here. Looks like some Ling's going to get cleared out in the end, but... No progress made by poor Beal. Beal still trying to get in here and deal some damage, but his Marine Medic count has been reduced quite significantly at this point. Another connection there with a Scourge. That's something... Uh, very few players do, myself included, is send Scourge all the way to the rally point of the Terran, try to snipe vessels there, rather than out here in the middle of the map or over by your natural. It's uh, a place that sometimes Terrans are just not paying attention to. Oh, I don't think he's going to get in here with this drop. Yeah, that one goes down. Really nice job by Shine to get rid of that right now. That makes this drop so much less effective. In fact, 50% less effective, but I might say that it's even more than that. Because having, you know, half the Marines and Medics there, really, the Marines, they stack in value and in strength. Uh, the more of them that you have, the better they're able to fight. And it's not just a little bit better or 50% better. I would say it's even more than that. All right, nothing over here right now. The... A uh, lack of lurkers in this position might give an opportunity here for Biel to push through. The Firebat's really doing its job right now. It kills off all the Lings. He's going to get in here. Lings only popping through right now. Has Biel done it? Is he going to get in and kill this base? He's on top of the production right now, killing off drones left, right, and center. Meanwhile, over here at the natural, he breaks through as well. Oh my goodness, Biel is getting crazy right now. We're going to picture and picture this as the Marines start to get cleaned up over here at this uh, top right natural. Drone, or I guess this was cleaned up as well. Drones, a lot of them have died though. 21 drones remain here for Shine. So for the moment, it's going to be Shine re-droning, putting together his economy before he can really do anything with his Ultralist tech, which is about to come fully online here. He's already got two Carapace, but there is his Chitinous Plating finishing up. A couple more Irradiates going down. Defiler getting irradiated here. He's going to throw down a Dark Storm, but he will lose all of his Defilers. Okay, one is going to survive here. That is very important. Small groups of Marine Medic trying to make their way forward here, but I tell you... That's not, that's not what you need against these Ultras. Wow, running by right now and jumping on top of the drones? This is such a sick little move here. You can see that Shine was just busy elsewhere. Dealing with this? Oh my god, Biel is crazy. Dude, look at these little hit squads of Marines running in everywhere. Dealing that little extra bit of damage. 26 drones remain right now. 
He has to redrone, but he also has to make ultras. So not a really good situation at the moment here for Shine. Can he get a good plague on these units? Yes, he will. Oh my god, all the Scourge died right there. Are you kidding me? That is so ridiculous. Well, those Scourge are not going to connect. It's so difficult to make Scourge at a moment like this, but you can see Shine making Scourge right now. He realizes how important they are to try and slow down the the bleeding, to staunch the bleeding of endless irradiates hitting these units over and over again. He's going to come through, get some more. He gets another one. Very well done here. Going to lose more of these vessels. But is there anything to defend right now? One Ultra and a Dark Swarm is all he can put together. Another Defiler here just to back this one up. Looks like everything going to back up here. Lings over at the top right now. He's holding on with almost nothing. Look at how small uh, Shine has become at this point. It is craziness right now. He's even able to hold on is a miracle, but these lings are going to get massacred as they try to come through this little position. Oh, the Nidus Canal could go down. He's targeting it. Oh, it falls. The lings will clear out the Marine Medic, but losing the Nidus right now is just about a critical blow. We don't really have anything over here. He needs to make another Defiler over at this position because the moment this one goes down, Gonna be in a world of hurt. Oh, goes for the plague. Kinda whiffs it there. Need to start another defiler immediately. He starts drones. We need defilers over here. Thank God for these extra hatches over at top right. To sort of get the production going once again. Very important that they do. One marine is killing drones over here at the third. This is a wild game right now, guys. Biol is doing so much with so little and keeping it incredibly scrappy. But, I mean, Shine is hanging in there and there's no fourth base for Biol. He's out of his natural and main just now. No more minerals over at either of those two locations. We're going to have uh, a radiate um, eraser trick. No, but a drop is going to come up here to the top right. And I don't think this Nidus is done. No, it is done. The Nidus is done. Oh, Scourge going to connect on that. That's big. Only three Marines managed to get out, but they're going to wreak havoc in this mineral line right now. The one Lurker here, not ready to dive on top of that. One Ultra going to pop out and hopefully clear all of this up. But Biel is just... <laughs> Slayer is boxering it to the nth degree. He's taking this so far. To where we're at 20 drones. We're at 20 workers, guys. Wait, we're at 38 SCVs. How did that happen? I think we lost some SCVs somewhere along the line. I'm going to need some picture in picture of this game because there is just so much action going on all over this map. It is wild. Another Dark Swarm. Another Plague here. We've passed the 21 minute mark, so the uh, Gas Geysers are going to be running out here on both sides. But more importantly for the Zerg player, the main base and natural should be mined out by now. Natural just about to mine out here. Ultra is starting to clear out some of these Marines. He does have that five armor here finally. Another attack over towards the natural here in the top right. Another Dark Swarm. Plague is down on these. Gunning down a bunch more drones here. Again, lowering the drone count for Shine. He's trying to balance just a few drones at a time being added on while making uh, attacking units, but he keeps losing drones over and over. He's never able to fully stabilize here. Shine is on the ropes for, I mean, it, it feels like forever. This game is absolutely crazy. Finally gets a few more drones out, but there's no units up here. There's nothing to defend. This Marine Medic might come up and just deny these drones once again. That's a pretty good size force of Marine Medic here. And a base in the center right is going to be taken. That's a little bit ballsy here of Biol. I would assume he would take the bottom left base instead. Feels like a lot easier to hold that location than 
over here in the center right. It's so quick to just send a Defiler here and Dark Swarm. Get rid of everything. Another Dark Swarm here at the natural. We all going to start to transfer workers over here to this fresh base. And Shine is getting into his drones now. He's managed to squeeze out just a few extra drones. And he's still got Ultras. Some Scourge and Defilers ready to fight. Looks like he's going to lose a bunch of Scourge here. That's always a shame, but it is what it is. Looks like Scourge not going to be able to counter these vessels over here. But the Ultras will get in and deny this base for now. Oh, that's a great pickoff if he can get it. That is a huge pickoff. Two more vessels go down right now. Where are the rest of the vessels here? Only one? Wait, where'd all the vessels go? Man, I'm missing a lot right now. I feel like the um, the pace of this game has me a little bit winded. I don't know how these guys are keeping up in this situation. A big plague should be coming down here. Oh my goodness, what a plague. Unfortunately, the Ultra not underneath that Dark Swarm, so he won't be able to hold that. Oh, another Dark Swarm should come down here. Oh, this is, this is unfortunate. Shine gonna lose this. Meanwhile, another attack over here into the natural. This is what Shine's paying attention to right now. He's gonna come over here to clear out this attack. And he will. Ultra's gonna be able to clear out this very small group of Marine Medic. Ultra in the middle of the map, just taking a trade right now. Five kills on that. Denying this base in the center right at the moment. And the supplies are looking desperately close to even. More drones are going to be pumped out here. Back up to 31 to just 27 workers of Bial. Has Shine done it? I don't know. He's very close to being forced out of this game with his gas being this low. How can he continue to produce here? Of course he can make Marines. That's a no-brainer. Just 50 minerals apiece. As long as you've got a little bit of income, you can keep to making those. But the gas is running out right now this ultra absolute hero here to clear out quite a few of these marines another group of marines coming up here it's gonna get cleared out by ultras and at this point in the game it's uh, so crazy but even these tiny little engagements it's so important to focus down marines properly with the ultra make sure it doesn't get caught on any medics or uh, you know, is it is hitting the right units at the right time? Man, these ultras are so low. Looks like this defiler is not going to be able to consume and get another dark swarm here. It's a great opportunity. Oh, not able to connect with the scourge. This is a great opportunity for be able to push in right now, but he's not actually doing that. Meanwhile, a a counter attack over here at the six o'clock, shutting down the mining right now. I guess the CC died. No, it's going to the middle. The CC is heading to the middle of the map right now. Vessel's coming forward here. A Dark Storm will come down. That Ultra will hold for now. Vessels are going to get picked off here. Big pick off of Vessels right now. Ultra's thinking about coming from the flank, but they do turn around. Recognizing that these Ultras are really all he has left right now. Four more Ultras are about to pop. There's almost nothing in the production tab right now for Bial. He's just barely holding on. He will get back to mining here at the 6 o'clock, but he is just about out of money at this base. Another Ling going to come forward here. Small group of Marines going to be holding this off. Can he kill that Defiler? He gets the Defiler. A big moment here for Bial. Only three Ultras under this Dark Swarm, and they're super, super low right now. Two more Ultras making their way forward. He needs to actually run over here and target these ones. He's moving towards the top right right now, but he's not protecting his base on this side. Ultras here coming forward. Another Defiler makes his way forward. Another great plague here on this army, and he will force Bjol back. Bjol needs to handle this one Ultra. It's just cranking away kills right now, smacking down. More and more SCVs. Oh, here comes the last few Ultras. Three more fresh Ultras making their way to the front. Killing off the last remaining Marines here for Beal. I think this is it. He's done it. 
Wow, what a game. What an incredible game from Shine and Biel here. This was a real nail biter, guys. I'm going to have to do so much picture in picture here. It is going to be ridiculous because I just was not able to keep up with everything that was going on in this match. I'm going to go do that now, guys. Really great game here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Make sure to like the video if you did, and I'll see you tomorrow.